That's the Holy right. Ghost says what? Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise. How can you propose to two and three and four sisters at one time? Yeah. Sister, if you know that a brother is talking to another sister with the intent to marry, back up. Back up. Out of respect to that relationship. That's right. If you're willing to ignore the fact that they are talking about marriage yeah. and still That's right. be his whole, mm. you have no respect for yourself Amen. nor for the sister in church. That's right. That's right. You brothers. You should be honored if you and the sister got in mind to get married and she want to save herself That's right. till marriage. That's right. But if you become frustrated because she wants to remain chaste and you drop a chaste virgin to get a leg open Jezebel. Go ahead. You ain't fit for a husband, not fit for a father, not fit for a brother in church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Talk to me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Holy Ghost says what there? Presents and gifts. Presents. Presents. Sisters, don't accept gifts and presents from a brother you ain't interested in. That's right. All you doing is leading them on. Yeah. And then you complain to your local minister, Brother so-and-so keep buying me this, keep buying me that, and while you're complaining, you wearing the scarf. <laughs> you wearing the blouse. That's right. If you really don't want to be bothered, you won't accept nothing from him. That's right. You sisters, stand up and stop being scared to open your mouth. If you want the man to leave you alone, tell him. Tell him. Talk to me. Amen. Tell him. Tell him. You can't accept scarves and blouses and skirts and shoes and then want to sit and bug your local minister all day. That's right. He bought me this, you see? You see? He, he bought me this, see? Oh, oh my God. Why does he keep doing this? I don't want to be bothered. Liar! Yeah. You mean to tell me you that cheap? You can't pass up shoes, skirt, and a blouse? Go ahead. Get a job and go to work and buy your own. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. That's right. If Amen. brothers are going to propose to three and four and five sisters, whoever marry him, you will cuss the day his mama carried him. That's right. That's right. Because he's too immature to respect any relationship. Really? That's right. Are you listening? Presents and gifts. And because of lack of fatherhood, because of lack of parenting, because of the absence of proper authority, many are married today, and if they could, they would go back in time. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, in, a, in, in the past, she walked on yes, and yes. saw. But now that she got knowledge, she go back in time. And if she see him, you can be miserable by yourself. That's right. You don't get married to be miserable. That's right. Know what you are investing in. You are investing in a who and a what. You may got who you want, but it may not be what you want. That's right. The right investment has to be the who and it has to be the what. The what. Because if you got the what, you're going to think about the who. Oh, yeah. And if you got the who, your what may be somewhere else. That's right. Right. Amen. Are you listening? Presents and gifts. Presents and gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise. Blind the eyes of the wise. And stop up his mouth. It does what? And stop up his mouth. It stops up his mouth. In other words, he's been so affected or she's been so affected by the presents and the gifts. She wants to say something, but she's looking at the presents and the gifts that's so right. much until she like, oh, well, if you want to do it, let him do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And then some of you sisters doing the same thing, buying brothers things. There is that destroyeth its That's own it. soul. I was raised old school. To this day, to this day, to this day, I still have a problem with my wife buying me anything. And we've been together for 45 years. I got a problem. You know, I, I remember when she first bought me flowers. I, I felt funny. You know, because I'm used to buying her flowers. And sometimes she'll say, what do you want for your birthday? I said, nothing. She, but I would go buy her and I would go. She said, listen, you give me something all the time. I said, I don't want nothing. I just want to eat. <laughs> But some say, well, in a relationship, you should buy for each other. Buying don't strengthen your relationship. That's right. A good example, look at things some of you still have. And you ain't with him or her. Right. But now you have those things like trophies. That's right. Some of you behind the backs of them that spent the money on you, brag about them. Man, yeah, she brought me this. She did? Oh, well, she brought me this. She did? How much did yours cost? I don't know. She didn't tell me. Sometimes, sisters, he brought me this. Really? Oh, well, he brought me this. Really? 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 He brought me this. And just keep going down the line. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Is everybody all right? Yeah. The Holy Ghost says what? Presents and gifts Presents blind the eyes of the wise. And gifts blind the eyes of the wise. And stop up his mouth. Stop up his mouth. That he cannot reprove. He can't reprove. That's right. He enjoyed them and had them so much. Don't say nothing. There is a gift that shall not profit thee. Give chapter and verse. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 20 and at verse 10. There is a gift. That shall not profit thee. You won't gain from it. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. You sisters... Don't let no brother promise you marriage. And if he don't already promise somebody else, and then promise somebody else. That's right. And then promise somebody else. Let me give you some wisdom. If you know he was already talking to a sister before he talked to you, before you welcome him in your life, 
and y'all in the same church, go talk to the sister. Find out how soon was he telling her these things because he may have been telling her while he was with you. In other words, he had somebody on standby in case the other wouldn't work. He had somebody rebound. That's Street right. terms, player. Yeah. And when he is a player or she is a player, they have no respect for themselves. For a player is a person that's desperate for attention. And when a person is desperate for attention, don't be surprised how far down they will get just to get it. If any brothers in First Church is buying gifts yeah. to manipulate any sister, right. sit down. That's right. If you have proposed to two, three, and four, and five sisters, sit down. That's right. Amen. What happened to the amen? <laughs> Sister, if you have hit up five brothers' wallet with the same Jezebel story that you in need, and from five brothers you paid your rent, from another brother you paid your car, from another brother, you got this wardrobe. From another brother, you got that radio. Man. Use a user of men. That's right. And if you use men, you gonna reap what, what you, you sow. sow. What you sow. Now, some of y'all sisters are naive. And you're so naive when we teach hard like this because some of y'all ain't got no daddy. So we come along teaching you what your daddy should have told you. And as a result, some of y'all not having no father. So I say, I got a father, he live in the house. Some of y'all just got britches in the house. Amen. With nothing in them. Like the straw man going down the yellow brick road. <laughs> Straw man. Some of y'all didn't have no father to give you no instructions. And as a result of not having no father, you made bad decisions that you're dealing with right now. Right. And sometimes as a result of not having no father, you know what you've done? Looked for love. Yeah. Think of the concept. You went looking for what you don't even comprehend. So what appeared to be love isn't. So a lot of men today is taking your bank account. That's right. You paying his rent. You paying his car note. You're working by the sweat of your brow to take care of homemade bum. Bum who ain't got what it take to be a man, be a father, be a husband. And then got the nerve to want to quote some scripture to you. Shut up! That's right. That's right. You ain't willing to take care of your family? What kind of Bible verse got the right to come out of your mouth? That's right. You are nothing more than an infidel. In fact, you are an embarrassment to God. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't marry no brother because he gave you three orgasms? Mm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to me. Amen.
Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Go ahead, brother. One of the saddest things when you have a good sister. Yeah. I mean, good mind, soul, body, and spirit. Her character is on point. But she's chained to a dog. That's right. And all she can do is I woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. A man is not a man because he got a beard. <laughs> no. No way. Some women got beards. <laughs> Amen. My brothers, years ago, and many of the older brothers and sisters can bear witness, years ago, if you had in mind to marry a young lady, your parents wanted to meet her parents. Yeah. Because they wanted to know what kind of house he or she is coming out of. That's right. Are you listening? Man. Please don't assume because a person come to first church Amen. that it's going to make them no. a good husband no, no. or a good wife. It's only if they take the teaching and apply it to themselves and evolve around that teaching. Well, I, I go with Pastor Jenna is that. So what? So what? What are you learning? What are you learning? What kind of man are you? That's right. What kind of sister are you? A good woman is just as hard to come by as it is a camel that got five humps and from each hump is a different flavor ice cream. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening? Wonderful. The pickings are thin. Oh yeah. The assembly line is a lot of bugs in today's production. Oh yes. And my job as a minister is to get the bugs out and some get so offended they leave the truth of God and go to churches that don't teach nothing. Nothing. And when you go to churches that don't teach nothing, you have no discipline and you don't know how to choose. That's right. Sisters have asked me, Pastor Jennings, or have said to me, I'm looking for a husband. I tell all of them, you're doing it wrong. You ain't got no business looking. The word says, whoever find a wife. Find a wife. You have to allow yourself to be found. You don't go looking. Who so found you have to allow wife. yourself to be found. That's right. That way when someone trying to evaluate you, see what they bring to the table. That's why we teach our women, don't sit and wait for a man to do for you what you can do for yourself. It ain't nothing wrong with having a job. It ain't nothing wrong with going to college. You don't drop out of college just to marry some man. That's right. And don't allow yourself to get knocked up and get pregnant and you about to get your masters. Now you rock about baby on the treetop. That's right. And when the wind blow, he ain't around. Not around. Go ahead, man. So now you're stuck. Baby one arm. But you can finish your courses. Go online. 
adjust the bottle. <laughs> That's right. Go online. That's right. A man can't rise your back unless it's bent. Amen. You know, I've had brothers that used to be in first church when I preach like this have actually said, he work on the men too much. Only a coward low a down coward. thing. Amen. A real woman don't want no whining man. That's right. That's right. God said he made man. Man. Making a man is more than making 13 babies. Oh, yes. What good is making 13 babies if you can't take care of two? That's right. You got all these kids? Take care of them. Yeah. Don't sit and wait for your wife to do everything if you're there. That's right. Wash your boys. That's right. That's Let me right. work on that. Keep your kids clean. Yeah. Don't take them to the hospital with a dry snot, blood-filled nose. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your three-month baby should not be smelling like a bum in the street. That's right. Wash them. That's right. Not once a week, every day. You got to get under his neck. You got to clean all the nooks and crannies. Go ahead. Some know how to have babies, but don't know how to take care of them or clean them. Keep getting little wipes from CVS. <laughs> Put a little soap on a soft rag. Get a little plastic pan they got them. Water and test the water. Make sure it's not too hot. Know how to hold your baby and wash it. Go ahead. Don't send your child. Listen, even though we teach modest apparel, that don't mean your child got a little like raggedy hair and Andy. Go ahead. Keep them toenails and fingernails clean. Keep Go ahead. them toenails and fingernails clipped. It don't make no sense. The wife and the husband is all suited down and the children are like a train wreck. Amen. And you running around in some spirit. Like you got some spirit. <laughs> Preach it, brother. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. We ourselves. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Want to make sure they get every drop. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Are you still a fool? Amen. If many men and women can rewind the clock, they ain't stopping at her. And they ain't stopping at him. No. They're going to go by them so fast you may hear a noise. Pew. <laughs> Pew. Gone. Gone. If you done made that mistake and you're married now, you can't, you know, you can do until he die. You can't speed up the process. That's right. But I can, by the grace of God, teach to protect those who's not married. That's right. See, the mistake that you make is because you think everyone that come to church have God on their mind. That is not the truth. No. When the Lord said you shall catch men, he never said all men going to be honest. No. I make you fishes of men. You got sharks in that net. Sharks. Oh, yes. You got stingrays in that net. You got hammerheads in that net. That's right. You got octopus in that net. All kinds. All kinds. So get out of this naive mentality because truth is here. The devil isn't. Heaven had more truth than this. Oh, yes. But the devil was there. Was there. That's right. That's right. 
Are you listening? That's right. Back to Titus. Back to Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Everybody all right? For we ourselves you also. Brothers, mm -hmm. that's proposing to two and three and four and five sisters. Cut that stuff out. Cut it out. And you sisters that's holding ministers up, complaining and whining about what he gave you and all this stuff, and yet you accepting again and keep saying, he won't stop buying it. Oh, shut up. You know what you're doing. Amen. Woman up and just tell him, leave me alone. That's right. I don't know how to tell him. How should I say it? I don't want to hurt his feelings. He say, a man, tell him. Tell him. You care about his feelings. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 20 and verse 22. They make every type of dumb excuse and then hold the minister up. Uh, I thought he, looked, uh, he broke my heart. Uh, uh, I, I got a scarf. And, uh, oh, shut up. That's right. That's true. All you had to do is tell him, leave me alone. Amen. And Don't book, worry five mm -hmm. times and then give it back. Are you listening? That's right. I have three daughters. A lot of times when I buy my wife flowers, I buy my daughter's flowers. And the reason why I buy my daughter's flowers that way, if they ever meet a man that give them flowers, they got it already. I go buy my wife roses, I buy my daughters them roses to give them different colors. I may buy my daughters roses them from the market and may go to the flower shop and get my wife. My <laughs> Doesn't matter, they still flowers. They're flowers. <laughs> still smell good. Are you listening? Amen. Some women make bad decisions because they had a no good father and they run looking for love. And as a result of such, some become mentally and emotionally abused. Even though we're in the truth of God and it is our objective to raise our children up in the truth, that doesn't mean you make a, you use a slave driver. That's right. In other words, you have to know how to present this truth. Your daughter start being interested in boys. That don't mean the devil is in her. That's the right. devil's not in her. God put it in her. Yeah. You're born with it. Right. When that young man start being interested in the girls, devil ain't put that in him. God put it in him. I did it. If he start being interested in them boys, the devil put that in him. Yeah. All right, listen hey, Amen. So then, Don't be afraid to tell them, leave me alone. That's right. I don't want nothing to do with you. You don't allow yourself to be used. And the only reason why you tolerate it is because of a few greenbacks. Your dignity should outweigh a dollar. Right. Very, and this is, and this is God knows truth. Very few people are sincere in helping you and don't want nothing in return. Very few. I mean, an individual is like that, you would think they fell from heaven. Because most people have an objective yeah. or a hidden agenda. By the time you find out what it is, it's too late. Too late. Never put yourself in position that you can be blackmailed. Yeah. And any time a brother will try to blackmail a brother or a sister, or a sister will try to blackmail 
a sister or a brother, and you supposed to be in church? You was a child of hell. That's right. Don't allow no one to lure you into their gossiping life. You don't know him. You don't know her. Shut your mouth up about him and about her. That's right. We speak that which we do what? No. And we testify to what? What we've seen. Hold it right there. Because sometimes what you see isn't what you're looking at. You can see a brother standing there conversing, talking to a sister. You may see the sister hand him a piece of paper. That don't mean they're exchanging phone numbers. That's right. That don't mean they're trying to go out for a date. It could be a piece of paper he dropped. Are you listening? That's right. Internet and social media. Go ahead. If you're in the church, keep it clean. Clean. If you can't keep it clean, shut it down. That's right. You don't get on social media voicing your personal uh, arguments and confrontations with a brother or a sister in church. No. I dealt with a case like that a few weeks ago in Philadelphia. Brother went and put on a suit, uh, not a suit, a shirt and tie. He don't even wear a shirt and tie to church. Good. Shirt and tie. And blast one of my sisters who done nothing to him. Good. And I had to break off several scriptures in him. And I mean, I broke him off. He probably can still fill him. Social media is not to be used in an ungodly way. That's right. Where you bring a reproach upon the church and yourself. That's right. Get your personal trash off your website. Yeah. You've got to be a fool putting out your own personal business. Even your pictures of where you was a sinner. Yeah. Cleavage showing, earrings, lipstick, yeah. all on social media posing. Posing. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. Amen. You ain't advertising your website deliberately with a shirt on so when you bend down at your screen the mm. separation of your personal Red Seas are seen. <laughs> Israel ain't walking through you. <laughs> That's right. Am I right? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Some of you brothers was faithful in coming to church. And now you don't met some sister that got you leaving church early. Yeah. Got you missing church. Missing church. In other words, she don't rip God out of your life. Yeah. Anytime she can rip God out of your life, you're not a man. Amen. Don't let no woman rip God out of your life and don't let no, woman, no man rip God out of yours. That's right. Very few people that you will meet in life will have your best interest in heart. heart. I'm telling you this of a truth. God knows they just as rare as E.T.'s eating grits in your kitchen. <laughs> rare. Rare. A person like that is a jewel. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 20 and verse 22. That's what? There is that destroyeth his own soul. Wait a minute. Say what? There is there that. There is that. Destroyeth his own soul. That destroy themselves. Through bashfulness. Through what? Through bashfulness. Through bashfulness. How can you destroy yourself by being too shy? 
Sometimes by you shutting up is what caused you to get into stuff. Right. Learn to speak up for yourself. That's right. You don't trust him, tell him. Tell him. Don't pretend he asks you, do you love me? <laughs> oh, well. If you know you don't love him, tell him. That's right. Play around with it. Tell him, no, I don't love you. Yeah. Are you in love with me? No. <laughs> right. You're just a brother to me. That's it. That's right. Nothing more, nothing less. No. <laughs> That's right. And mean it. Amen. You don't love her, tell him. Tell him. Brother, I got a question I want to ask you. <laughs> I want to ask you, I want to ask you. Do, 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 do. Do you? All that. All that. Just ask the man. <laughs> do you love me? Before you accept this yes, love don't begin with you. If he don't love himself, he's incompetent to love you. That's right. If she don't love herself, she cannot love you. I love you. Without self-love, that means you don't have what it takes to give it to someone else. Yeah. Jesus said, love your neighbor as what? As yourself. As yourself. Man. Many of you found out too late Amen. that he didn't love you. Yeah. Your gown is hanging up now and turned yellow. Can't fit it no more. You wish you would have found out that he was a bum. That's right. You wish you would have bum. found out that she was nothing more than a materialistic user. Man. You wish you would have found out that he was physically violent. Yeah. You wish you would have found out that she was a psychopath. That's right. Because a lot of these things may sound funny, but you'd be surprised how much is kept under wraps long enough just so they can say, I do. I and do. then when they say, I do, in their mind, they take, I own you too far. Yeah. They treat you like you some nigga on a plantation. That's right. And he'll verbally and physically beat you like a slave. That's right. As long as he can keep you scared, Go ahead. you in bondage. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I know some don't like what I said. Go ahead. I don't care if you don't. If any of you men got a problem with it because you're guilty. Yeah. Because you beat your own wife. Yeah. And if you beat your wife, you're not a man. Go ahead. Go ahead. What kind of man are you that I grab your wife by the collar, push her up against the wall, bump up against her and tell her, you better back up. Yeah. You better back up. Anytime a man tell you, woman, these words, if you was a man, what yeah. I do to you, he's telling you. Tell he wants to do you physical harm. Yeah. How you going to beat your wife and then when she don't sleep with you, you want to call scripture. I got power over your body. You are nothing but a bum. That's right. That's right. Why don't you have power to restrain yourself? Take your hands off her collar. Go ahead. Get your hands off her neck. Get out of her face. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. You slap your wife. Go ahead. You beat your wife. Go ahead. Don't do nothing in first church. Nothing. 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 
Go ahead. I got power over oh, your I'm body. Why don't you restrain yourself? That's right. Get yeah. your hands off her neck. Your hands off her. Stop shoving her against the wall. Go ahead, man. Stop threatening her with knives and guns. Yeah. Then you want to quote some scripture. You got to give it to me. Bible said that the husband shall do benevolence to the, the wife, wife and the wife to the husband. You I do th- your part, she'll do her part. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. A lot of this female abuse go on in the apostolic churches. Yeah. Because the pulpit had made the female a stomping mat for men. Amen. So from the pulpits, the female ain't nothing but a cook and a sex machine. That's right. You have no intelligence, no nothing. That's why we teach our women, before that man come in your life, preach it, brother. Get a job. Have your own established bank account. That way, when he walk, you can still talk. Amen. Don't you sit there and let no man stand over you, straddling over you like you some man in the street and slap you around. That's right. And then quote scripture. Get that bum off of you. That's right. And if you're in the church and don't stop, I will throw you out. Throw you out. Throw you out. Get out of here. That's right. Get out. That's right. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Don't come back no more. No more. That's right. How is it it makes you feel like a man? Well, Pastor Jennings, I saw my daddy beat up my mama. So that means you have to do it? Man, putting your hands on a woman is a choice. Putting your hands on a woman is a choice. She can't hardly breathe and you choking her out? That's right. And then when she get a bottle and break it over your head, you want to bring her in my office? Amen. You are you're the one that she didn't get a whole milk truck. You beating your wife and, and you come to first church? Come to first church. Amen. And then when music get going, you. Keep sitting around letting you hit her? No way. And then she cooking for you? Have you lost your mind? She's cooking for you. And you beating her? And now you wonder why your clothes is getting too big? Because you shrinking away. You first sit at the table, and she now got you thinking she's scared of you. Give me my food. Get on out the room. I want you to eat with me. A few months later. A few more months later. <laughs> Women that are washing. Wonderful, brother. You do not have to tolerate no man being you. No. I don't care if he's a pastor in the church. 
That's right. And any man try to quote the scripture. I dare any of you having a matter against another. Against another. Go before the law. Dare and any of under, you. Listen at this. First Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 1. I want to block every loophole they try to use. That's right. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1. Now when you go on social media, watch how many negative comments are made from men about this message because they are male chauvinistic bums. That's right. When God said let us make man, that's what the truth of God is designed for, is to make real men. Right. The Holy Ghost says what? Dare any of you. Dare you. Having a matter Having against, a matter against, against another, another, go to law before the unjust. Go before who? The unjust. The unjust. And not before the saints. And not before the saints. So this is where these church women beaters would do. They'll quote this scripture. When she say, I'm taking you to court. You, he'll say, you can't take me to court because the Bible forbids you. That scripture don't apply. If you take note of the language of the scriptures, it never said you can't take them to court. It's a certain kind of court you can't take them to. That's right. Listen closely. Dare any of you. Dare. Turn Williams up. I don't want him to slip on this. Amen. Dare. Dare any of you. Any of you. Having a matter against having a matter another. Against another. Go to law before the unjust. Oh. You That's just it. can't go where the unjust in other words, they don't judge the matter fairly. That's right. Because you got a lot of crooked judges. That's right. And a lot of crooked lawyers. Right. Because now I got to balance that out with the other scripture that talk about the law. That's right. And see who the law is made for. That's right. I want you to get this, you old computerized crooks. Knowing this. Give chapter and verse. First Timothy chapter one, and I'm at verse nine. What is it? Knowing this. Knowing this. That the law is not made for a righteous the man. The law ain't made for a righteous man. But for the lawless. But for the lawless. And disobedient. And what? And disobedient. You beating your wife, you are lawless and you're hardhead. That's right. For the ungodly. What? And for sinners. What for, else? For unholy. Ain't nothing holy about you beating your wife. And profane. That's right. So to all the women, save and unsaved. That's right. Don't let no man scare you up where you subject yourself to physical abuse and he try to top it off by quoting Bible. Quoting Bible with it. He's handling the word of God deceitfully. Deceitfully. That's why you couldn't pay some men to follow us. That's true. We break backs and spines with Bible. <laughs> That's right. That's right. My wife and I have been together since 14 years old. We have had heated arguments, but I've never laid a hand on her. Wonderful. Never. Wonderful. And I never will. Amen. Someone said, suppose she hit you. I ain't gonna hit her, I ain't gonna lay a hand on her. Wonderful. Don't get no ideas now. <laughs> I ain't gonna put my hand on her. She hit me, I may bob. <laughs> I'll bob while I'm walking out the door. <laughs> eh? If it's gonna be, some blows, I'd rather that it come from her right. to me. But i never bring it to her as long as I live. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Brother. Titus chapter 3. Back in Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. What time do I have, brothers? 2.5. Plenty of time, brother. All right, come on. I, I, hope, I hope this is helping you. Yeah. There's always room for improvement. Oh, yes. And if you are afraid to better yourselves, then you are afraid to be saved. Right. And sometimes what keeps us from bettering ourselves is the company we keep. A positive person 
cannot afford to constantly be around a negative demon. That's right. Because if you want to go forward, he or she will either try to hinder, block your path, or always going to try to discourage you or pull you down because their mindset is not to go nowhere and they don't want you to go nowhere either. Right. The Holy Ghost says what? For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Sometimes foolish. foolish. Disobedient. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hard head. Hard head. Disobedient. Stubborn as a bull in Africa. That's right. <laughs> Parents try to tell you something, but you was too much of a man or a woman. I often think of the case in Philadelphia a few years ago, a young girl, I think it was in Yaton, Pennsylvania. My wife and I was watching on the news one night. Her mother told her not to go out. She went out and didn't come back. By the time they found her, I believe she had found her in a dumpster. Yep. And if I'm not mistaken, she was either 13 or 15. And if you listen at the news today, you're almost spiraling depression. Oh, yeah. The amount of young kids who's just outside playing, getting shot. And then the ones that's doing the shooting, 13, 12, 11. There was just a case, I believe, in Philadelphia where there was two kids in the back of a car. One was four and one was two. two. And I believe it was the four that shot the two or either the two that shot the four. Yeah. Who shot the fool? How in the world can a two-year-old shoot somebody that's four? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, you may hate me all you want, viewers, but these are the subjects of today that need to be preached every day. That's right. And any time a church or religion don't want us to speak against it is because they want you to be ignorant and left in the dark. And any time a husband complain about this, mm. any man that's an abuser of women who is not going to stay in first church because he will not take it being reprimanded or corrected unless he wants to change. That's right. Preach against women using men. Some women get upset and they get out of here. Amen. Because we, we're breaking up the game. Yeah. Yeah. You multi-proposal men like you Don Juan. <laughs> That's right. It's a disgrace. Yeah. A man should not be able to show his teeth. <laughs> and next thing you know, you believe everything he said. That's right. It is written, a man is known by his look. By his look. A man may be known by his look. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19 and verse 29. And some of us don't even know what we're looking at. True. That's why some of us are in the predicament that we're in. We didn't know what we was looking at. Here you're not married and got a mind to talk to a brother or he's talking to you. And the first thing he mentioned, he wanted to join your bank account. Hmm. I don't even hardly know the cat yet. Well, let, let's, get, let, let's combine money. Or what you do is let me take all your money and put it in my account. That's right. You don't work 20 years to save up your money or longer. And the first thing he want to attack is your account. Your account. And then some of y'all, you know, you be manipulated by this, someone misusing the scripture of helpmate. And he ain't got no credit, so he used yours and put you in debt. Yeah. If you can turn back the clock, you'll be in the time machine and probably never get off of it. That's right. That's right. Again, maturity is of a necessity. Spiritual maturity and natural. Because it helps you to judge things correctly. Yeah. Real quick so we can knock off. Back in Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. What else? Disobedient. Mm -hmm. Deceived. Oh. oh yes. He bought you flowers and you thought it was Gabriel's cousin. That's right. He bought you a dress and you start hyperventilating. Hyperventilating. Start gasping for air, going through convulsions, crying uncontrollably. <laughs> 
And all he did was bought your address. Your address. Amen. Or stole it. <laughs> Amen. 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 Get this. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, yes. disobedient, disobedient, deceived, tricked, serving, serving diverse lusts and, and pleasures, living, living in malice and malice envy, and jealousy, hateful, hateful, and hating one another, and hating each other. But after, but that, after that, the kindness, the kindness and love of God our Savior, the love of God our Savior toward, man appeared, toward man appeared, not by not works of righteousness which we have what done, we done, but according to his mercy he saved us. According to what? To his mercy. What did he do by his mercy? He saved us. How did he do it? By the washing of regeneration. And what? And renewing of the Holy Ghost. Mercy got us here. Amen. This is a youth, youth message. Oh yeah. To put you on a straight path. That's right. Don't be afraid to stand up and tell him, get out my face. That's right. Leave me alone. Yeah. I ain't giving you a dime. Yeah. No, you ain't taking my money. Amen. Get your own bank account. Amen. If sisters are in need, and a sister come to you, brother, send her to the mothers of your location. Did you hear me? Amen. Then let the mothers evaluate the matter. And if it's something that's legit, don't give her the money. Let yeah. some go wherever she need, purchase the items for her, and then give her the items. Yeah. All that passage in it, there's some folks that are nothing but thieves. That's right. And I resort to these methods for the protection of the church. Yeah. When I was younger and pastoring, I was naive, so anxious to help people, and they helped themselves. <laughs> but I learned. Yeah. yeah. I learned. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of times when people know you're kind-hearted, if you're not careful, they'll take advantage of you. That's right. That's right. If someone is there for you and helping you in life, why would you treat them like a dog afterward? <laughs> Young children, respect your parents. Yeah. I don't say that without understanding because I got to admit, there are some parents, they are so wicked. You struggle in respecting them. Yeah. It's hard for a child to respect a father that abused them and never been nothing to them. That's right. But someone who just abused them for years. Yeah. And then by the time they 18, 19, 20, 21, 30, then they're trying to be a father. But yeah. the damage is done. Oh, yeah. And to repair that tire, it may be difficult. And sometimes as a result of the actions of the father, that daughter or daughters may strike out at other men. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Take your time. Yeah. We'll see if you can shout this evening. Yes, sir. You brothers that's beaten Sisters, what you got to jump about? Mm. <laughs> That's right. You ain't got nothing to jump about. Nothing to jump about. Nothing. You simply stop letting men, whether they're in church or out, take you to the cleaners. Yeah. How many times you gonna allow yourself to be ripped off, bamboozled? You trying to be generous and let a brother hold your car mm. 
at nine o'clock. He said, I'm just going around the corner. And you don't see it at 12 midnight. Yeah. And your engine light is on. The scripture that talks about uh, shyness. Back in Ecclesiastes 20 and verse 22. Says what? There is that destroyeth his own soul. There is that that destroyeth themselves. Through bashfulness. Because you're bashful. You won't say nothing. Yeah. He come back with all these scratches on your car, dent in your car, and he say, oh, I'm so sorry. And you just say, oh, it's, it's all right. <laughs> you can look at your face and see it ain't all right. It's, it's <laughs> all right. No, it ain't all right. Say something. No, it ain't. And if you're a real man, speak up, let her know what happened, and then pay for it. Am I right? That's right. Pay for it. I see y'all brothers running around and whatnot. I see y'all sister doing the backstroke. Backstrokes. Mm -hmm. I see y'all brothers ice skating. <laughs> Amen. Amen. How many jaws did you swell? How many ribs did you crack with some feet that you shouting with? How many women did you slap? How many eyes did your hands blacken? Are you listening? Amen. We ourselves were sometimes foolish. The apostle Paul was teaching Titus. We ourselves dealing with mm -hmm. past life. That's right. Let this be past. Past. Bring all that madness to an end. Amen. Bring all that madness to an end. Yeah. This is why I tell sisters, take your time when it comes to marrying. You want to see how angry he can get before you marry him. Sometimes deliberately push the buttons. Mm. And when that fella step up to you like a dude, you know what, you better wait now, listen. And you ain't taking no more. Why, you mother? Oof. Ooh. The devil made me do no, no, that's it's already in you. <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. In many cases, the church has become nothing but a haven. They hide in it as a haven. Yeah. Camouflage. Because they know 99.9 .9 of these churches don't deal with none of these subjects. Don't touch them. But the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. I don't care if it's your brother beating your wife. Don't take up for him. If your brother beating his wife. Don't take up for him. I don't care if it's your cousin. Don't take up for him. If you take up for him, you're strengthening the hands of evil, evil doors, doors and you're a hypocrite. Yeah. And if you take up for him, sit down. That's right. Because not only he that doeth the wrong, but he that have pleasure. In them that do it. In them that do it. Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh. Uh, you ready to get your sins washed away now? Washed away. Amen. Repent. And be baptized. God wants you to be baptized the right way. That's right. God wants you to repent. Be sorry about your sins. Yeah. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not saved. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're still a sinner. If you went to the Catholic Church and he threw water on you, throw it back on him. That's right. You're not saved. Not. You've got to repent. You've got to be sorry about being a child of hell. That's right. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. All Ghost. right, Greensboro. Anybody here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Come on, men. Come on, women. Stand on your feet and get right with God. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. 
All of you that are standing, march right to the back. I'm pretty sure during this convention, we done went way over 100. Amen. This is a large noise.